Hey guys, I got an LMM here, a Duramax block that uh, I've got my first cut made and I wanted to go ahead and make a couple checks and show you guys what I do. So I've got the program stopped. Uh, I've only cut one cylinder. And so I wanna come in here and I wanna make sure that it's boring straight and that there's no excessive wear or damage that's not gonna clean up. So what I'll do is I'll just rotate the block over and I'll take a look in there and I'll make sure that everything's nice and straight. And then I'll also make sure that I've set up my cutter correctly and making sure that I'm not taking an excessively large cut or too small of a cut. And what I'm looking for here, because we're torque plate honing this block, I'm looking for around 1,000th or under the size of my piston. So I want 1,000th smaller than my piston size. And the reason for that is because sometimes the number that's in my book is a little bit off from the actual number that I get uh, from an actual piston. And then also we've seen in torque plate honing that the top of the cylinder is going to open up quite a bit. So we're going to take a more conservative cut and that way we have plenty of material to hone, hone out and hone away. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my checks. I've got my dial bore gauge here set up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my measurement. And like I said, I'm looking for around a thousandth smaller than piston size. And you can see right there, that's just north of the second mark, between the second and third mark. So that would be between one thou and one and a half thou under the size. So that would be my piston size and that's smaller. So I'm right where I want to be on, uh, on my cut. So I'll go ahead and uh, let the program run and cut all eight cylinders this way and we'll, we'll get this block headed out to its new life. 